Based on the true adventures of four combat photographers, the Bang Bang Club has been receiving some not so keen reviews. Times Live hosted an exclusive viewing of the movie for their readers at New Metro Monte Cassino. This is what some of them thought. We've seen movies before about the history of apartheid and the struggle, but this movie really captures the period which was, in my view, a very tense and, and very difficult period that as, as South Africans we had to go through. And this is a fantastic movie and I would really recommend that everybody watches the movie. It's crazy, is it? It was so reminiscent of the book and it brought to life a lot of the things these guys went through. Our daughter was in the star at the same time a as a photographer and so she knew them very, very well. She worked with them, um, we knew them personally. We were at Kevin and Ken's funerals. Our daughter went out with Sharif. And we... Um, yeah. So it was very emotional. You ready? You're lucky because you're white. Most of the movies that I've seen of that time are movies of people in the front line, the ones that bear the bullets, that exchange, um, you know. But uh, I've never seen a movie on photographers, though. the guys that take the pictures and show us those that cannot be there, the things that are happening. So it's a, it's a very interesting um, account of events. So. Can't you at least pretend to be scared? Uh, a friend of mine was Jetro, he's late now. He went to the city press, and the first day when you got there, they sent him to be Bato. And that very story, how the way you know they showed what, what was happening there, the very exactly thing that when he came back, he was so messed up, and yeah, he, he, you know, he nearly disturbed, disturbed him. The more we get these stories revealed, the more we know about the past, the more we know about everything and we learn. I don't date photographers. I thought maybe it should have been a lot more South African. You know, it, uh, it seemed a little bit, quite a bit uh, Hollywood-like. You know? I think they should make another one, a remake of the movie made by South Africans for South Africans. I'm a photographer. I want to hear your side of the story. It touches on the lives of photographers uh, or me, me, media in, in general. You know, when they're chasing stories, chasing photos, all those things. What goes on, what, how th things work into their psyche after that. And I think they also, probably from the media owners, they need to make sure that there are mechanisms that deals with, you know, post-traumatic stress that they go through. Because some of the things that are very horrific, you know, and they affect them for the rest of their lives.